Hey Beans, and welcome to another Animal Gym Conspiracy video. Every single time I upload one of these, I feel like, oh, I'm out, I'm out, I guess we have to wait for more information, and then every single time, somebody comes up with something absolutely amazing, and today, that person was Cheetah Girl 8754 Huge shout out to her for sending me this conspiracy. I got this about 10 minutes ago, and immediately I just, gear started turning, and just everything came together. So I cannot thank you enough. This is the best conspiracy I have ever received. And I think it's very far-fetched, but I think there might be something to it. So. Let's talk about a few things before we get started. The rare out on Monday recently, as many of you probably know because Apari decided it was a good idea to do an entire video based off of one rare out on Monday, was the Zeos Mask. But there were a few interesting things about this Zeos Mask. It costs 4,500 gems. That is the most expensive rare out on Monday we've ever had, unless you count two diamonds as more expensive, which may be legitimate. But gem-wise, that is the most expensive rare out on Monday we've ever had. It has, obviously, some important significance. Well. Not just the fact that it costs a lot of money, but also that it's a mask. We've always known that Zeos was wearing some sort of mask. I mean, it's not a secret. There have been Zeos mask items coming out all the time. But the fact that it came out now and was so expensive and was out for such a short time tells us that there is something important about Zeos' mask going on. Let's talk about masks. What do you do with a mask? You, you cover up your identity. You wear it so no one can figure out who you are. And every time we see Zeos, he's just wearing this mask. But have you ever thought about maybe there's actually something behind it? Or like, maybe he's actually a person or an animal or something like that? Well, that's what this conspiracy is about. I'm pretty sure I'm going to title this video like, Zeos is a toucan, so you all know what I'm talking about. I'm not being cryptic here. Zeos, I believe, thanks to Cheetah Girl 8754 is a toucan. Now, hear me out, because there's a lot of evidence pointing towards this. In one of my videos where I said, wow, toucans have been here the whole time, I pointed out that toucans have been in Double Up. This is a game that's been there since the beta. It's an old, old, old game, and in it, there are a couple of animals. There's like the panda, the monkey, the blue heron, uh, the tiger, the wolf, and the toucan. Yes! But what's interesting is, all of these animals were starter animals, except for the toucan. So why is the blue heron in there? The blue heron is Mira, by the way. Obviously, there are no other blue herons in the game. So why is there a blue heron and a toucan? Why are those birds in there? Well, this is the first piece of evidence that points towards Zeos being a toucan. And well, this is definitely not enough on its own to say that Zeos is a toucan. This is just building the blocks so you can see even more evidence. So just bear with me for a little bit and it will make sense. Now, it's also possible that Zeos needs the toucan heartstone to bring his species to Jamal and that's why he's gone out and gotten himself captured, we believe. Because I think the number, because I think at this point, my number one conspiracy is that Zeos went out to go get stuff, he got captured, Peck went out to go get stuff, and maybe Mira came with her, we don't know, but Peck got captured along the way, and now it's our job, soon enough, to go get them from wherever they are. So what could Zeos have gone to get that was so important? Well, if he does happen to be a toucan, it would have been the toucan Heartstone, and that would match up very well with the update system, because we know we're going to get toucan soon, it's been announced. So if Animal Jam could have you run out and get the toucan Heartstone and then bring it back, then they could release toucans and Zeos could reveal his true identity, and it would give him a reason for having wandered off to the middle of nowhere, like while we need him very desperately because phantoms are like moving towards Jamal, because at this point we have determined that it is the phantom fortress that's coming towards Jamal, so like, we really need Zeos right now, and he's off like getting captured, so Zeos, we need you, come back with that fr- So Zeos, we need you, come back with the toucan Heartstone, please. Also, small little thing, the toucan is depicted as very golden, Zeos' mask is golden, the mask would like go well with the toucan and it would explain why you don't really see the toucan. Speaking of appearance related things, Zeos has more similarities to the toucans besides just being in a game with them and having gold coloring. If you look at his eyes, they are in fact green eyes, just like the toucans that we saw in the Masterpiece video that Animal Jam released recently to tease the toucans to us. Now what's even more interesting is these green eyes also match the mystery character, so if this person was Zeos, the toucans, and the mystery character, it would all make sense. Because all we know about this mystery character right now is that he has green eyes. And that's something we know is true of both toucans and Zeos. Not to mention, we know that Zeos is a very creative type of person. I mean, he did create, like, all of Jamal after all. I think Animal Jim 
did change that in the new lore because they wanted to get away from religion. They wanted the game to be open to everyone who believed in anything, whether it was that someone created the world or not, and so they took out the whole story where someone actually created the world, I believe. But even if Zeus isn't the creator, he's always been a creator. He's always been doing things for Jamal and like organizing animals and like creating packs and like doing cool things. And he's always had this creative aspect to him. And now we know the toucans are super artistic and creative, just like Zeus. So I think the fact that they're gold, have green eyes, and are creative, and are also in double up, is already starting to make it look like Zeus could really be a toucan under that mask. All right, and if that is enough, and if you think we're just speculating here, there are some little hints that Animal Jam has put into their own game besides just double up. Let's start with the Chamber of Knowledge, which is basically the origin of all of my conspiracy theories nowadays. That is the best room in Animal Jam. Literally, there's just it's just packed with information. You can't stop getting enough knowledge from it. Literally, that is the Chamber of Conspiracies. There's just so much information packed in there to speculate on. So, what am I talking about? Another time we've seen Toucans in the game since the beta is this little teeny Toucan picture inside the Chamber of Knowledge. Now. This toucan picture is like totally out of place. It's just in a corner behind a ladder. So what is it doing here? This is the lost temple of Zeus, right? This is where Zeus' remains are. And if there was some sort of scavenger hunt to go find Zeus, well, you'd probably start at the lost temple of Zeus. And whether it was that someone drew a picture of him to try and go look for him and they nailed it up on the ladder, behind the ladder thing, or that he just happened to have a picture of himself up in there, or just it's the lost temple of Zeus, so there are toucan pictures of him in there, I'm not sure, but I don't think it's a coincidence that there's just this random toucan picture inside of the lost temple of Zeus. And on top of this, in Sky High, this is something I noticed just recently when I was screwing around in Animal Jam looking for video ideas. In Sky High, there is a toucan in the background. This is important. Zeus and Mira are like gods of the sky and the heavens, and toucans don't belong in this weird like Coral Canyons-esque landscape in the background of Sky High where it's like all dry and desolate and mountainous. So what is a toucan doing back there? Well, I think that Zeus is actually being symbolized there by this random toucan that appears in the background because like I said before, Zeus and Mira are like the sky, the heaven gods. They're like the actual gods of Animal Jam. They're called like endowed protectors or something, but we know they're gods. Animal Jam's just trying to be like religiously sensitive. And then the alphas are a little different. They're just like really strong members of their species. So that's why you see these gods up here in Sky High, because it's like heaven. And the last point of evidence on this Zeus bird toucan thing is, well, Mira is a blue heron, and it would make sense that if she was going to get a mate, it would be another bird, right? I mean, it's kind of weird for like blue heron mask. Like that's not an OTP, okay? Like, you just, how do you do that? I think my OTP would be like Blue Heron Toucan, you know? Like, Blue Can. Just Zeos and Mira, what would be a good ship name? Mios or Zira? All right, ignoring ship names, I think it would make the most logical sense for two birds to fall in love with each other and create Animal Jam like that. Plus, we know that one of them was created by the other one because one was lonely, I believe. I don't know if they changed that or not. But if you were to create something, well, it'd probably be in your own image, especially if you were lonely. You'd probably create someone who's pretty similar to you. So it makes sense if Mira or Zeros, if which one did the creating, would make someone that looked like him or her. So what do we do with all of this? What could this mean? Well, it would leave this big cliffhanger at the end of the next adventure, or maybe Animal Jim doesn't release it, and they just leave the cliffhanger at the end of the adventure. So they make it so like Zeus is about to take off his mask and then you like can't see who he is and you have to go wait for the next adventure to see who he is. Or maybe Animal Jam makes this like the big reveal, like how, you know, earlier we had like Greeley died, Greeley didn't die, oh, Peck got captured. Like there's always some big unexpected change that just slices through the adventure and just destroys your expectations. And I think that this would be a good one if they revealed that the Toucans are coming because Zeus himself is a toucan, and that's where he and Peck went, is to go find the toucan Hearthstone and bring it back. Oh! Oh! It just hit me! It just hit me! That's why Zeus floats, because he's a bird! Oh my god! I... Shoot! I knew that! I... There you go! So, that's stupid. The difficulty is we really don't know anything about Zeus, and even though I have made points about his eyes, well, it's always possible the eyes are part of the mask, and maybe he just, like, sees through little slits, and the eyes are fake, so as to completely hide his identity. So, no one can really know what's going on with Zeus and Mira. But, it's pretty cool to speculate on, and it would not surprise me at this point if, uh, Zeus ended up being a toucan. I think that would be really cool, I think it would be a great way to segue into the next section of Animal Jam lore, and to add a new species, and really have a meaning and conviction behind it. You know, like, I feel like at this point, animals just kind of get added, and you're like, okay, 
There's a sloth now. But why? Why Why is there this, like, glitchy animal that just got add? Oh, money. Right. So I feel like it would be really cool if there was that aspect of, oh, money. Right. But then there was also the aspect of, oh my god, we can play as toucans. And these are, like, super important to Animal Jam's lore. And the same way when you play a tiger, there's this sort of, like, connection of, like, oh, I'm playing as Sir Gilbert's animal. But there are no, like, elephants-only parties. Can anyone name the elephant alpha? Seriously, can a single one of you name the elephant alpha? When you play the elephant, you just feel like you're playing this random animal Animal Jam added, like, early on in the game. It feels weird, they're not that cool, and they don't have any significance. They're just kind of taking up space. So, I think it would be cool if Toucans came out. So people would feel like this is the new animal, that's the big deal, people want the new stuff. So this is the brand new diamond animal. It's a flying animal, which is a big deal because people like the flying animals, and the falcons and the eagles are cool, but maybe a toucan would be more fun. And also, I feel like it would be easier to make a girly toucan look, and, and like 70% of Animal Jam is girls. And the toucans would have this big mythological importance to the game and the lore in general. And I think those three things would really just make the toucans sell, make the toucans very popular among the players, because even if they're not that cool, People will still find ways to incorporate things that aren't that cool as long as they have some sort of significance. Think of the mask. Let's be honest, the masks look terrible on every single item. But because they were ridiculously rare at one point, everyone wants to use them. Because for a while, like, everyone just found ways to throw them into looks because they wanted to show off their rares. And now, even though they're not super rare anymore, people still throw tiki masks on a lot of animals and try to pass it off as cool. And even the non-rare ones, like the scary mask, still get used because people are so used to seeing scary masks and masks on everything because they have a significance to the game and the culture so anyways beans thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video if you have a cool conspiracy email it to join two moments at gmail.com